Hello, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So I've been reading and a lot of that is because if you watch my snap you know this happened. I'm okay physically, mentally, it's another story. But I've been reading a lot to kind of deal with not thinking about that. So with that said, I picked up some books from Zyla Turner after I watched Mommy, um, Mommy and the Books. Um, her video where she discussed two of the books. So, but I went ahead and read five of her books. Five. <laughs> so the first one, the first one, sorry, is um, a duo series. And we have, um, the first one's called 1080, Line of Duty. And this is a young girl that lives in the projects. Um, she is 23 and she's taking care of her, um, her younger brother who's in high school. And all of this is because their mother is, um, a drug um, addict and she is um, in and out of their their life so and one day she accidentally bumped into a police officer who was um, in the project on duty and he took a liking to her um, he was pursuing her um, without even thinking <laughs> of her circumstance um, and for him, you know, he has not much to lose compared to her. She, you know, could lose her life by associating with a police officer. Um, you know, whether it, it could be purely innocent, but in, you know, the community, she could look at as maybe she's working with them. She's some form of stitch, something like that. Um, he, on the other hand, comes from a line of police officer. All the male in his family are some form of police officer and his mother is a captain. So he is forever a cop. Highly think highly of cops, always thinking positive of cops, even when they're not positive because he doesn't know the other side of um, a bad cop, you know. Um, so they eventually um, connected and um, started dating, um, but they had issues, you know. She didn't trust him because he's a cop and she was scared of her safety and he, on the other hand, wanted to, wanted her, wanted to make her life better, wanted to, to pursue everything he possibly can um, with her until um, something happened that, um, you know, affected him and she, she was there. And um, there's more to the story, Ken, I don't really want to give it away because I think it's, it's a, it's an interesting story that, um, deals with Black Lives Matter situation, deals with, um, you know, people who are killed by, you know, cops that were innocent and um, not threatening. And also the mind of the good cop who at times are blind by the negative things that they see that they got accustomed to not realizing that, you know, that's wrong, you know. This is an interesting one. I think this one is like should be re should be very open mind. Um, you know the romance in there was it's 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 a nice breakup because there's so much seriousness in this book. And then the part two is a continuation of um, characters who are friends with them, and they took it to another level in this story. The author said when she read it was during the time of. I um, cannot remember the guy that um, who was killed in his car while his girlfriend was in there and his, his, their child was in the back seat. So she wrote this book during that time. So this is there was a lot of freshness in this book. So she used that to motivate um, a, one of the tragic moments in the book. And so the second book was very dramatic, um, very serious. The issue I had with the second book, which is um, 1099. I'll put the picture up here is you can tell it was written by a black woman um, compared to um, bec only because the, the the male character in the book is a white police officer and there are things that he said and talked about that you can tell it was written by a black woman or even not even just a woman, a black person. Um, because I think that this is one of the stories would have been interesting to see how it would have sounded coming from a, a white author. Um, it, it just seemed 
it's it just didn't seem that realistic in certain parts of the book um that it just it just felt like a little off um and I think that's why I, I, I didn't enjoy it as much as I did the first book. Um, even though the first book, that officer was also a white officer, it, it was still felt realistic compared to the second book. Um, and that's because it, they, the second book was a tough book in terms of the things that they were discussing. It was, it went there. She really went there with that story. And because of that, and and the it, it felt real in terms of the, the the situation that was happening in the book, but there's certain things of what he said and and how he felt. I I, I just felt like it was a little off. It, I don't maybe it's just me. Anyway, so then I started reading to her short story, and what I love about this short story is she took um, a counseling group. So this is a group where women are together with different issues, um, you know, serious issues, and they're in a group. And this group is based on an actual real organization. So this, some of these, I think, may have been loosely based on actual true story. So the first one's called Walked in Her Shoes. And in this story, we have a woman who is um, plus size. She is extremely large. Um, they describe her like around size 26. So she's definitely overweight. And she struggled with that. She struggled with eating disorder. She struggled with loving herself and appreciating herself. And uh, there comes this wonderful professor that works at the university where she's an administrator at. And he found her attractive, but she's thinking, why is he finding me attractive? Because all these women think he's attractive. You know, is there a joke? Somebody's, you know, pulling out a, a, a fast one on me. So he didn't see her how she saw herself. He saw her as a beautiful um, plus size woman that he loved that about her. Um, once he realized that she had issue, he said he's the one that suggested that maybe you need to talk to someone because I don't have an issue with you but I can't be with you if you have an issue with yourself. So basically she got help, worked on it and the romance blossomed to you know on to other things. And um, I love the story. Unfortunately, you know, I, I have a, a bit of a problem sometimes when I read story with plus size women because I'm plus size. And do I have an issue sometimes with my weight? Of course, I you know I was never I wasn't always a big girl, but I don't walk around moping and you know dealing with it as as some of these women in these books. And it just made me feel like it's always plus size women always portray in a lot of these books as oh they just hate themselves because they're plus size. You know, weight loss is a struggle, but it's it's not self hate. And so sometimes I struggle with some of these stories that are, you know, portray these women in just this um, negative way. So I'm still on a hunt for that fabulous plus size woman story where she is like a go-getter and love herself, dress nice and you know it's fabulous and yeah I, I'm really looking for a story like that you know I'm I'm, I'm on the hunt. <laughs> so the next one I read is also in the same thing the in her shoes and this one is the strut in her shoes and this one um, deal with a woman who can't have kids. Um, she was married and after about a few years I realized that the problem was her and after you know she went to the doctor and found out she can't have kids um her husband left her suddenly no discussion no nothing he just left her so she went to a period of time where she's like i'm not dating i'm not getting involved in men i'm just gonna have sex and that is it you know one night stand and she was doing that sneaking getting get to know a guy for a night and just sneak out of his house without them knowing. And a lot of these men were interested in her. They wanted more than just that. But she just wasn't doing that. So she met a guy who was just like the total opposite of what she expected. He's kind of saw through her, her flaws and, you know, found a way to, to somewhat... I think he kind of like manipulated her in a way where she's starting to... She got all kind of confused. Where, are we just having sex or are we doing more? And, you know, but they were building a relationship. She is just how he did it 
to get her time to get her attention to, to have a great time with her was clever where eventually to after a few months she kind of was like whoa 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 we're getting serious yet I don't want this but she didn't tell him why she didn't tell him about her situation and you know eventually she she tried to run away and you know and broke his heart and had to then she realized wow my heart got involved too and she had to tell him the truth and it's just how it was handled it was just such a sweet story i really enjoyed this one i thought it was just um it, it just a well done story um and it was short and sweet and i really like this one and then the last book i read was called um bombshell and this one um deal with a very serious topic i i don't think i've ever read any book like this before no, I think this is the first time I've ever dealt with a book like this, how they dealt with it. So this is a woman who um, found out she had the STD. So she, um, the day she found out, she was crying, of course, devastated, because this is one that, of course, there's no cure. She's going to be living with this forever. And she left the doctor's office crying and didn't really was looking where she was going because she was just devastated. Bumped into this guy and he you know was you know looked at her with compassion and you know wanted to to help her in some case and he followed her and she went to a coffee shop he wanted to pay for her he, you know her her coffee and kind of you know console her even though he didn't know her you know and she at this point thought no 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 I would not be having no man consult me because she can't she feel like now her life is over she can't date ever so she ran and a year later um he just happened to randomly bump into her because she's a businesswoman as well as he is he's a tycoon where he owns um, a lot of property and they bump into each other accidentally and he remembered her because he, he for some reason he couldn't forget her and what ended up happening is um to pursue her and she's fighting it because she's thinking I I have this thing now I can't date anyone and eventually when she realized that he's serious and he's not gonna back down that she was honest and she she told him I have this and I can't date and he just looked at her like why you cannot date and you know she was shocked and she you know but it was so weird because in this story you know you learn a lot about what she, what she had and how to protect himself and he knew a lot about it and you eventually you discover why he knew a lot about it but i was just, my mind was going like why why would he react so calmly about it um you know i, I would think a normal person would have been like whoa 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 because i don't want that you know but he handled it in a way where it, it took me a while for me to to really like grasp my, my head around it until you know they they in the book they discuss why he was so calm about it um and you know there's a lot of drama there's a lot of secrets that he had and them trying to work together them trying to to build a relationship and um you know a lot of drama that in the beginning it was like it focused on what she had but then it it it, it kind of went that was just like in the back burner in the story after a while it wasn't like the 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 main thing about the story there was other things that took over in the story where she's living her life they showed and that's why i think the author wanted to to show in a book where she's living her life this thing now wasn't the main focus of her life anymore there was other things that was most fo um that was focusing on her in you know on her life um in her life versus the sickness that she has this illness and I love that and I thought that was creative and um, it makes me want to read more her stories because um, she she's daring as an author and um, this the only thing about this book is it is one of her earlier books so you can see the difference between her writing in this book versus um, Strutting Her Shoes. Strutting Her Shoes is her latest release um, I believe it came out maybe two months ago Whereas his um, bombshell, I think, came out in 2015. So, and it's one of her earlier books. So, if you look at the writing, there's such a great improvement in her writing. And I love that when I see authors grow um, and the storylines that she's not afraid to, to discuss. And, you know, being an educator, she's a principal, you know, and, um, I'm sorry, vice principal. So, 
um, she's probably seen a lot in her lifetime <laughs> and can write about it. Um, so I enjoy her stories. I think she's a really interesting author, um, you know, and you know, she's a Brooklyn girl. So yeah, <laughs> so I was all for it. So anyway, thanks for checking out my review. I know it's a bit long, but it is five stories I'm talking about in one. And um, yeah, go ahead and check out the author. And I think she has way more other books. So it's probably something that you might find in, um, that might pique your interest. Um, but you know, check it out and um, have a good day. Bye.